Our bodies are making potential cancer cells all the time, but our immune system regularly finds them and destroys them. Crucial to our tumour defence force are so-called natural killer cells. They're one of the only cell types that can recognise threats generated by our own bodies and call in an attack. It's one of life's great mysteries why some cells slip past our defences and begin to grow. So our own immune system is still one of the best ways to fight the cancer. The trouble with chemo is, at the same time as it's poisoning our tumour cells, it's also wrecking our immune system. Which brings us to a small but remarkable study conducted in Sweden and published in 2013. A group of 10 average healthy young men were exercised on a bike for 60 minutes. Their blood was taken before the exercise and also straight after. The before and after bloods were then spun down to extract the clear serum and poured over laboratory lines of prostate cancer cells to see if they would grow. Incredibly, the serum taken straight after exercise suppressed the cancer cell growth by 30%. That particular study is landmark because what it has done is it's woken up the scientific community to say there is something produced during exercise systemically. So the muscles are producing chemicals which are going to all parts of the body and they're actually destroying tumour cells. 